So since we bought the Tesla about three months ago, I get three common questions. Everybody who I see, who's one of my friends or somebody that I know, asks me one of these three questions. So in today's video, I'm going to address those three questions. And one more thing, Everett, our son, has his own YouTube channel. Yeah, so uh, Everett's got like, what, 154 subscribers? Yes, sir. So why don't y'all do me a favor, go search Everett Garrett on YouTube, and let's get him up to a thousand subscribers. I'll link it in the description, but do me a favor. He's posted some good videos. Give him a, su a sub. All right, so let's get into the three most common questions that I get from everybody when they find out I got a Tesla. All right, so the first thing everybody asks, I mean like everyone I meet, the first thing they always ask me is about charging. So Everett, what's it say? So how long does it take to charge? Yeah, they always ask me, how long does it take to charge? And that depends, right? That depends on, you, are you charging at home? Are you charging on a supercharger? They always wanna know like, if, if I were to charge at my house, how long is it gonna take? So here's the answer. So at the, the Tesla comes with a charger, just like your iPhone, if you were to buy a phone. But the charger that it comes with has a connector that you plug in at your house into any standard outlet. And it'll charge about five miles an hour at your house but you can buy a connector that you pull off of it and connect that'll allow you to hook it up to like a dryer outlet and it'll do 33 miles an hour. That's what we have, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a NEMA 1450. So we have the, I, I bought the, I swapped the outlet out. You can get it on Tesla website. And so I can charge somewhere in the 33 miles per hour range. And you think about it, if you go on a trip you drive 300 miles that day, you get home, you get home at eight o'clock at night, by six in the morning, it's fully charged. And so it's plenty, 33 miles an hour is totally enough charge. So one of the coolest things about having an electric vehicle, and when you talk about charging, we pulled up, we're about to have dinner, and they're just so happened that they've got a free Tesla destination charger here. So we're gonna charge our car for free. And that's something that never happens if you have a gas car. So the ability to just on surprise show up and get free charging, that is so cool. Everett, what else do they ask about charging? Increase in electric bill. Oh, everyone asked me that. So, so when you got your Tesla, was there any increase in your electricity bill? So here's the thing. To fill up a gas car, let's say the car holds 10 gallons at $3 a gallon, that's 30 bucks. Um, if you drive the, the Tesla from empty to full, it's going to be somewhere about eight bucks to fill up in electricity. Now, very seldom am I filling it from completely empty to completely full, but obviously there is going to be a slight increase in your electric bill. If you drive it 10 times in a month and it costs $8 each time, that's 80 bucks, right? But you would have spent for those 10 times in the gas car, $300. So does it increase your electric bill? Slightly, yes. Yeah. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. But overall, because you're not buying gas, are you saving money? 100% you're saving money. So you can see right here in the app that I've spent $195 in the last two months on electricity versus $973 in gas that I would have spent. What's the other thing they ask you? How much about? does it cost to supercharge? Okay, supercharging is a little more expensive. So in the town I live in, <coughs> Electricity is about 10 cents per kilowatt hour, which is dirt cheap. Those of you watching, that, especially those that live in other countries, you're like, oh my gosh, 10 cents a kilowatt hour. And there is no peak charging. So you, no matter when you charge, 10 cents a kilowatt hour. And it's actually not even 10, it's 0.99 cents a kilowatt hour. I called the power company and they told me. Supercharging is usually around 32 cents a kilowatt hour. So it's three times as much as charging at my house but still when you supercharge, it's a quarter of what it would cost to put gas. So when I go to the supercharger, if I charge for 10 minutes, um, that 10 minutes, depending on the rain, uh, the battery state, if I'm like 10%, it might go in 10 minutes from 10 to 60. That might cost me eight to 10 bucks. So still cheaper than gas, way cheaper than gas, but more expensive than charging at home. What else, Everett? Charging at home costs. Yeah, and so we talked about the charging at home cost is cheaper, and but it also depends on what you charge with. So, you know, you want to charge at home if you can, 
Uh, but just every time you park your car, you go ahead and charge it. So yeah. So charging that. habits that Tesla recommends is to keep your car always plugged in. So I don't care if it's already full. I just leave it plugged in at all times um, in my garage. But yes, it's definitely cheaper to charge at home. The second most common question we see is about the road tripping. Yeah, so people want to know about supercharging on a road trip. So number two, road tripping. And that people want to know, can I take a road trip in the Tesla? And if I do, how does charging work? So your house charges with AC power, which is slow. Like I said, you put in a dryer, a NEMA 1450 dryer outlet, you're talking somewhere around 30. If you put in a Tesla charger, maybe 40 miles per hour. You go to a supercharger though, especially the new ones, you're looking at 1200 miles an hour is what it's gonna charge at, like crazy fast. So you plug in, you pull up to a charger, you plug in, you go to the bathroom, and when you come back, it's put a ton of battery into the car super fast. And so on road trips, the car routes the road trip for you. So let's imagine I put in the car that I want to drive to LA. Well, the map is going to figure out every stop along the way and tell me what my state of charge will be when I arrive to each charger. So you literally don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Now, there, it, it takes all of the thought process away. Completely you don't have away. to worry about it. Now, there is a little bit of range anxiety, especially when it's cold, but you just got to trust the computer, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so tra traveling in the car is zero problem. Just follow the navigation and you're fine. Number three, Everett, what's it say? How expensive is the car? And this one this is... This is probably the biggest misconception, don't you think? A hundred percent. So the third most common question I get is, what'd you pay for the car? So Sarah, kind of talk about Yeah, that. so um, I work at a middle school, and so just the name Tesla, all of the kids are like, oh my gosh, y'all must be rich, you know. And, and no, we're not, you know. Not rich at all. <laughs> not even close. I'm an educator. Right. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, the, you know, there's different mo makes and models of the Tesla. And we've got the most economic one, don't you think? Right. So there's four models of Tesla. you got the Model 3 and the Model Y. The Model 3 is like a car, a four-door car. The Model Y is more like a crossover, like almost like an SUV type. And those are the two most affordable vehicles. The Model 3 that I'm sitting in right now, in 2022, starts at $45,000 a year. Most people say, gosh, I thought you were going to say... Like $120,000. Everybody <laughs> says that. They're not a $100,000 car. Now, the luxury version of Tesla are the Model X and the Model S, and they are over $100,000. But if you're a family who just wants a standard Model 3 or Model Y, the, the Model 3 starts at 45-ish. The Model Y starts at 49-ish. Those are great cars at an affordable price. This is not a rich person car. Elon Musk literally said, I, we've got to get the cost of the car down. This was prior to the Model 3 existing, and they did. And what I love about this Model 3 is it literally does everything that all the other Teslas do from a full self-driving standpoint, from a safety standpoint, the whole thing so super affordable so those are the three most common questions but we also have a couple bonus questions for you guys okay another one i get is um did you did you test drive it before you bought it yeah well in here make sure you're comfortable and you already know about the charging on there yes sir did you guys get a chance to drive one before you bought it no <laughs> awesome so you bought it you bought one without trying it bought it without trying it. thank you so much <laughs> people do ask me that did you test drive it and i didn't to be honest with you, I knew people who owned Teslas. I watched so many YouTube videos on Teslas, I knew I wanted the car. And he watched a ton of yeah. Tesla videos on YouTube. Yeah, I'll be honest, <laughs> I learned more from Everett about it than anybody. Everett, kind of talk about when we were getting the car, your your Tesla video watching journey. Yeah, I was just like, I was like, how does this thing road trip? Because I didn't really know much about the supercharging and all that, and I want to take it on trips. And it was just like, it was like, a whole nother world compared to like a gas powered vehicle and how it all works. So I just found that really interesting. 
Yeah, and Everett studied it and uh, really helped. I mean, when we go on road trips, it was funny the other day there was a chance Sarah was going to go in it and she looked at Everett and what'd you say? Oh, you're going to have to help me. <laughs> you're going to have to help <laughs> me with this. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, those are the most common questions I get. Uh, hope it helped. And again, remember, Everett's got a YouTube video, I mean a YouTube channel. I'm linking it into the description. If you would, go like and subscribe it. Let's get him to 1,000 viewers and Sarah Burt has something to say. Oh yeah, so there was one more thing. Um, when you bought the Tesla, you just ordered it straight off the website. But it was really, if you've ever used the Subway app, to me, I compare it a lot to ordering a Subway sandwich. Like, you pick the bread, so you pick the pink color, or you pick the model, and then you pick the wheels, and you know, it was it was kind of cool ordering it, you know, yeah, it was very different. I was literally sitting in the airport and ordered the car, financed the car, paid the down payment, all on the, on the app, and never talked to a human. So when you went to pick it up, all he did was, he was like, I'm here to pick up my Tesla, and the guy was like, did you get a confirmation email? And he just showed him the email and the guy like walked him out to his new car. And he, he said, let me look on the app, check the VIN and here you go. Yeah, one of the things I would recommend if you're interested is just go to the Tesla website, tesla.com, put in the car you want and kind of check out the prices. And you'll see like, wow, and it, it Sarah's right. It's like ordering a Subway sandwich, but it's a car. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.